Welcome back to day 12 of the 31 Days of Horror series. Today we're talking about one of the most batshit, blood-soaked films you'll ever see. Peter Jackson's Brain Dead, aka Dead Alive from 1992. And yes, I'm talking about that Peter Jackson. The same guy who went on to make Lord of the Rings. Not the rings, Randall. Say what you will about Jesus, but leave the rings out of this. I'm gonna kick your ass back to the Shire if you don't shut your fucking mouth. But trust me, Dead Alive is a far cry from Middle Earth. This movie is an absolute shit show of gore, body parts, and insanity, and I'm all here for it. First off, this is not your typical horror comedy. If you thought Reanimator was gross and funny, buckle up because Brain Dead takes it to a whole new level. We've got more blood, more guts, and more what the fuck am I watching moments than you could count. Hey. The film is legendary for being one of the goriest films ever made, and it earns that title with flying colors. Literally. Blood flies everywhere. The plot? It's simple, but genius. Lionel, our poor awkward protagonist, has to deal with his overbearing mother, who gets bitten by a Samaritan rat monkey. Don't ask. She starts to decay into a zombie, and all hell breaks loose. What follows is a full-on zombie apocalypse to the confines of Lionel's house. It just keeps getting crazier from there. I mean, we're talking zombies pulling off their own limbs, reanimated guts chasing people around, and a freaking zombie baby at one point. Oh, and I have to mention the Kung Fu priest. Yes, you heard that right. We got a priest who's out there kicking zombie ass while probably yelling, I kick ass for the Lord! This scene alone makes the movie worth watching. It's so ridiculous, but in the best way possible. You can't help but cheer for him. Even though, spoiler alert, things don't end well for our ass kicking priest. The practical effects in this movie are off the chain. You want buckets of blood? You got it. Want to see a lawnmower massacre? Done. It's a non-stop gore fest that doesn't give you a second to breathe, and yet it's so over the top that you can't help but laugh at how ridiculous it all is. The gore is less about scaring you, and more about making you feel like you're in some twisted cartoon world where the rules of reality just don't apply. What sets Brain Dead apart from something like Reanimator is that while both have a sense of humor, Brain Dead is just pure chaos. Reanimator had more structure with a bad scientist playing God, but Brain Dead? This is just unhinged mayhem from start to finish. Peter Jackson didn't hold back. He gave us a film where the gore is the punchline, and somehow it works. If you're a fan of splatter films, this is your holy grail. If you got a weak stomach though, maybe sit this one out, because Brain Dead will challenge your gag reflex like no other. But if you can handle the gore, you're in for one hell of a ride. Thanks again for watching, and be sure to check back tomorrow for our next installment of the 31 Days of Horror series.